Good morning, everybody. Brian Thomas here. I'm the service manager for the Vandalia Terminal. All right, today we're actually going to talk all about brakes. We're going to talk about the brake inspection. So we're going to talk about checking the brake thickness, and we're also going to talk about checking the brake stroke that give an indication that we might have a brake out of adjustment, which is actually a huge DOT violation. That's actually one of our big DOT violations we have going on right now. So very, uh, please pay close attention to this video. So first thing we want to do is look back here. We got our mutt tester hooked up. This is, remember, this is simulating your truck. Uh, we had demonstrated in a, another video there. All right, so right now what we did, we released the trailer brakes, okay? Now this stuff's very important. All right, safety first. Make sure when you're getting out of that truck, you've released the brakes, remember. You push the red valve in. That yellow valve needs to be popped out. out. Make sure those brakes are set in that tractor before you come out, because remember, you're getting underneath the trailer there, okay? All right, so now that we have the trailer brakes released, we're gonna go in and check the brake, the brake stroke here. All right, let's get started. All right, so before we get up underneath the trailer here, I'm gonna kind of explain this tool here a little bit. This is your pre-trip tool, all right? We're gonna explain how we are gonna use this when we get up underneath the trailer when we do your checks. So remember, we have released the brakes of the trailer. Tractor supply, all right, is pulled out, okay? Your yellow knob is out, your red valve is in, all right? So that's where we're gonna start with the brake stroke. So um, keep in mind that the manufacturer, all right, recommendation is two inches, okay? DOT violation is two and a half inches. So you actually got both markings on your pre-trip tool here when you're doing your check, okay? So two inches is gonna be from the end of this to your first notch, be two and a half inches is gonna be from end to end, okay? So this is how you're gonna actually get your measurements when it comes to the brake stroke. And then when we're talking about the brake lining thickness, okay? All right, it's gonna be quarter inch. Quarter inch from the center is gonna be a DOT violation, okay? Anything under a quarter inch, all right, it's gonna be a DOT violation. Remember, that's the center of the brake. And remember, when we get under, under there and we're, we're, we're checking the lining, each drums are probably gonna have grooves in them. Grooves are okay. We're gonna check these with a measurement tool. When we actually have these in the shop and we're changing brakes, we're gonna run that tool in there, okay? But every brake that you come across will, or will soon too, have a groove in the brake, so brake drum. All right, so just want to kind of explain that. So the end of this is going to be your quarter inch mark there. All right, when you're fitting that in there on your brake lining thickness there of knowing when you have a brake that's going to be too low a spec, okay? That would indicate that's going to be shut down. You cannot drive this trailer. Trailer's out of service now, okay? If it becomes lower than that, so um, you wouldn't need to call roadside, obviously, and uh, um, have that uh, brake replaced there, okay? And when we're checking the brake stroke, um, we're making our mark. Now remember our trailer valve is in, our brakes are not applied. So one of the things that I want to cover because this is much easier if you're a team driver or if you're a uh, trainer and you have a student with you. So because with that brake release, somebody actually has to apply the brake to the trailer, all right, to get your proper measurement. So if you are a single driver, you're driving by yourself and you don't have anyone to hit that brake for you, or if no one's nearby that could help you out, all right, the easiest way of doing that um, is by using a two by four. It's very expensive. I've seen people use bricks, but you know, carrying bricks around are uh, gonna be a little more complicated than it needs to be. So um, going to Lowe's or a hardware store or anything of that sort, usually they'll pre-cut these down. So um, get you a piece of two by four. So what you'll do is release your steering wheel. You're gonna pull it towards the seat there. All right, apply that two by four to your brake. All right, push that steering wheel down into the two by four and then lock your steering wheel in place. And that will keep your brake applied. So. Um, you're making your mark on there. So right now the brakes are released. We have not applied the brakes yet. All right. So the first step is releasing the brakes. So we release the brakes back in the trailer. Remember, the tractor valve is out. All right. Your 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 tractor brakes are are not released. Okay. They are set. So you can get up underneath the trailer there, and you're going to make your mark, um, and which we'll kind of show you um, where to make that mark at when you're under there, and then do our measurements. So once we make that mark, then that's when the we're going to supply uh, we're going to supply the brakes to the trailer all right to actually get your measurement so um, once that uh, push rod comes out there is when you're actually going to put your measurement on from where that marking is to find out if that brake is out of adjustment or not so if that brake is out of adjustment again that is a dot violation all right you need to get that fixed okay one thing that i do want to cover and this is a very important step adjusting the brake is not going to fix it we use automatic slack adjusters okay these have been around for 20 plus years so um, you cannot adjust automatic slack adjuster. You can put it down, but it's going to be a temporary fix. You're going to go a few miles, get pulled over again, you're going to be in the same boat you started with. So if they bring someone out, road assist, you call road assist, 
all right, and they bring someone out, adjust that brake down to you, that would be fine for a minute, but you still need to get to a terminal or get to a, another shop that they were gonna send you to to have that slack adjuster replaced because that slack adjuster is failing. All right, automatic slack, slack adjuster should never be out of adjustment. All right, if you're at a terminal, of course, just check in with the shop there and they'll get that fixed for you. So um, just wanna kind of cover those bases there. All right, now underneath. All right, so now that we're under the trailer here, now remember we released the trailer brakes, okay? So the red valve is in, the tractor valve is out. So what we're doing here is we're doing a brake stroke measurement. So what this is gonna tell us if this is out of adjustment or not, or if this brake is in adjustment, okay? So the first thing we wanna pull out, all right, when we come out here is one. Now I got some tire chalk here, so this is gonna be able to make a mark back in here, um, which is what I need to do for the measurement to make my mark before we apply the brake. All right, um, however you can use, I mean, whatever you got available, a marker of some sort. I mean, I wouldn't use a pencil because you're not gonna be able to see the mark, but, um, or a pen or anything of that sort, but a marker maybe, or uh, get one of these tire chalks here, then these are very inexpensive, so good thing to have. And then of course we got our pre-trip tool here, all right, and this pre-trip tool is gonna be able to, um, a fast way of making a measurement, that way you ain't gotta carry, you know, a, a tape measure or anything with you. So um, when we're looking at this notch here, okay, all right, from the end of here to this first notch that we see right here, all right, is exactly two inches, okay? And that is the manufacturer's, all right, recommendation for this to be actually in adjustment. That means if it's over this two inches, then we are beyond the manufacturer recommendation of this uh, uh, stroke um, brake adjustment, okay? All right, and then from end to end is actually two and a half inches. Now that's gonna be your DOT violation all right, that means this trailer is going to be out of service if we go beyond that two and a half inches. That means this trailer cannot go anywhere. One thing that I want to bring up before we do this measurement is to have a full understanding that a brake adjustment is not a fix. That means these things here are all automatic slack adjusters. So these have been around for 20 years or so. All right, if these are jumping adjustment, all right, that means it's malfunctioning, okay? chances are you're going to have to get this this slack adjuster replaced okay adjusting the brakes is not going to fix the trailer okay it may make it safe and legal for you know a few miles but it's going to jump adjustment again all right get down to the next weight station and you're going to have another dot violation so if you do your measurement here all right and you find that you have a brake that's out of adjustment all right if they send uh call road assist and if they send someone out to adjust the brake for you that would be fine but you need to get straight to a terminal or a, another shop over the road, which road, road assist will coordinate with you, all right, to get that slack adjuster replaced, okay? That's a very important step. So what we're gonna do right here, now again, our trailer brake valve is in, our tractor brake valve is out, all right? We're gonna make our mark in the back back here, all right, which is right where the end, okay? That's right where the end of that brake, uh, that brake stroke there, that, so that valve for the brake chamber. Back here. So, now remember, we're just checking one, but you want to check all of these brakes here. All right. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and apply the brakes. Okay. So now our line is back right here. Okay. This is where we actually checked. All right. Our brakes are fully applied here. So we're now going to take this tool and we're going to put it back in here. All right, to come out and what we're gonna see is we are already beyond two and a half inches. So this is actually a DOT shutdown violation. Okay, this actually trailer, this trailer is legal to run. You cannot drive this trailer down. So um, now remember two inches is manufactured two and a half inches of DOT, but this brake is definitely out of adjustment. This is illegal to run. You need to stop, all right? And now that we got through that part, we know this brake is out of adjustment. This trailer is already out of service. But since we're already down here, we got the brakes applied, we can now check the thickness of the brake, okay? Because if you've got just one violation, doesn't mean you don't have multiple. So when you're calling road assist to tell them what is all wrong with the trailer, what you got to get fixed. So moving into the, the, the thickness of the drums here, okay, excuse me, the brakes, all right? We have our brake tool. Now on the part of this brake, it's going to be this little feature right here. And this is going to be the brake lining, uh, to know, a brake lining, excuse me. All right, to know the thickness of the brake. So, all right, quarter inch at the center of the brake is what is a DOT violation, okay? So if it is below this step here, then or this uh, end piece here, that brake is also gonna be 
too low for this trailer to roll um, safely and it's going to have to be replaced so um, one thing to always know before we get this in here is each drum that you have all right are going to have grooves are going to groove out all right there's not a break out there that will not okay they're all going to do that so a groove is not necessarily a bad thing on a on a on a break okay because you're going to get those now we will measure those out when we're pulling a brace out when we do brake replacements as to whether we need to replace the drum or not all right but uh I just want to point that out that you will see grooves in the drums okay so we're going to put this tool in here all right and now we're going to see all right right where our little metal part there where the shoe is meeting all right we are actually well beyond where we need to be as far as where our, our, our thickness is so we are actually well beyond the DOT limit on this trailer brake. we got plenty of miles left to go on that that break there okay so we're not even close so all right um, but just kind of wanted to show you how to do that and when you're putting that in there now when you have the grooves and you're kind of putting that in always check the center again all right but when you have grooves you kind of have to kind of feed that in there a little bit because you want to make sure you get the full measurement and get beyond that groove there um, because if you're just hitting the top of the groove into the brake you're going to get a, a proper reading so i just want to kind of bring that out there so now that you know we got a slack adjuster that is not working properly the slack adjuster is bad all right it is not adjusting properly like it's supposed to automatically it is out of adjustment all right by the by the uh, measurement our brake brake pads are good all right we know we need to call road assist right now and tell them that this trailer is out of service that you need to get the slack adjuster replaced all right and then they'll take it from there to kind of get you where you need to be um, to be fixed if you're on a, a terminal yard um, obviously check in with the shop so they can get you squared away and get you on your load so all right so um, that's that part there thank you very much so that concludes the, the training of the brake uh, the brake checks it's going to include the brake lining thickness and the uh, brake stroke there i hope everyone learned something here and uh let's be safe let's get these checked thank you